Today I want to talk a little bit about double stops and how you can form them pretty easily from your regular bar chord shapes. So we're going to start here in the key of G major. I'm going to lay out all the chords inside of G major and then we're just going to extract the smaller shapes to build the double stops. This is something I want you to be able to visualize easy when you're playing solos or when you're trying to come up with melodic lines on top of what you already have. So we're going to start here with the G major bar chord. Now, the double stop shape comes from here. So we start with this E shaped bar chord on all six strings. Next, we're just going to extract the first four from that shape. Beyond that, we're just going to leave two notes. That's going to be our middle finger on the G and our first finger on the high E. So we have fourth fret on the G, third fret on the high E, taken right from our G major bar chord. So let's move through the diatonic chords in G. We have a G major, an A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E major. For now, we'll leave out the seven chord, the F sharp diminished chord, uh, but we're gonna simplify that shape when we get to the double stop, and it's actually a pretty simple shape. So let's talk about the actual double stops that we're doing. So we have G here, 4th fret, G, 3rd fret, high E. Next to that minor shape, it's going to look like this. We actually only have two shapes for this double stop. It's either this one here with our middle and index, or this one here with our middle and ring for our minor. 5th fret, 5th fret. Think about the A minor bar chord, right? Your first finger is just barring the 5th fret on the G and the high E, so now we're just going to extract it like this. Now I'm hybrid picking this just to mention, so the pick um, is gonna hit the G and I'm using my middle finger or ring finger to grab the high E. So you can finger pick this if you want, or if you're using a pick, you can just sort of mute out the B string with either your middle finger coming down. Okay, so let's start moving up. G, A minor, B minor. I'll call out the frets, it's going to be 7-7. Seven, seven. C major, it's going to be 9-8. Great. D major, it's going to be 11-10. E minor, 12-12, 12, 12, right, from our bar chord. Now, this F sharp diminished, I'm sort of thinking about more of like a D7 shape and leaving out the F sharp diminished because it has a really strong resolution back to G, and that's sort of what you're gonna to wanna to target. It has a really nice, because of that half step in the upper voice, going back. So we are playing the seventh scale degree, but I'm stacking it on top of the five chord, which would be our D, seven. So that ends up being 14, 14, and to resolve the G major, it's gonna be up here an octave higher at 16 on the G, 15 on the high E. So let's play it in time. One, two, three, four. So what I did at the beginning of the video was sort of slide around, and that's another stylistic option that you have. Right, I'm really guiding with the lower voice, right? If you think about two voices, there's a lower and an upper voice. So I'm guiding with the lower. And then grabbing the upper voice. And that's a good exercise just to sort of get these double stops down. So the last thing I want to mention are the intervals or the pitches that we're using for the chord. So let's figure that out together, right? If this is our G major bar chord, they're all triads. So it's either your root, your third, or your fifth. And that's a good way to think about chords when you're trying to narrow them down. Don't overcomplicate it, right? It's not like we're playing six notes. We're only playing three notes. They're just doubled. So we'll take the G for example. Well. The easy part of this is that the root is going to be on the high E string, right? Your G, 
A, B, C, D, you're literally walking up a G major scale. So this has a lot of uses theoretically as well, like just to sort of get comfortable with theory and chords. Well, let's look at it this way. So that's our root on top. What we have is our major third. So for this chord, we're using the root and the third, which is what we need to identify chord quality, right? Because if we just had a root and a fifth, it would just be a power chord. So we need that third to determine whether it's major or minor. So I hope this video was helpful, learning some double stops. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and let me know. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram page, linked below where I post daily guitar lessons. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.